ocean. It takes away everything. As I look out at the sea All the problems of my world go away See I'm pretty lucky where I live In the land of the long white cloud And if you ever wanna come and say hi Just know that I'll be right by Your side And we can pick ourselves up And we can go away and fly Up high In the sky where the birds are View of the world below You know Our minds don't always do what we want them to That was amazing swimming underneath that seaweed in the very middle of the Atlantic, 5,000 meters deep. Amazing fish life, an amazing opportunity. Man, that was awesome. Morning. We just chucked the spinnaker up. 5.6. And um, we set it up and I've just woken up heavy up. I wouldn't just put it up the wrong way around. Oh, I was just waking up too. <laughs> it's still going to be right. It's not, we're not going to have it up for long. <laughs> Morning for it. I'll probably should bring it down and spin it around. So tired. Hopefully we'll have it up all day. Wouldn't wonder. There's a scorcher today. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Pretty sure it's like a. That's what I'm doing. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Water soaker! <laughs> We're gonna be out of water soon at your rate. Mid Atlantic heat. Super hot right now. Hey, we're in the doldrums. That was Rowan. Was it Rowan? Oh, it's so much fun. Oh, so I just got Rowan back. <laughs> it is worth a beer out here. This beautiful day. <laughs> So halfway through the Atlantic, beautiful day, had some beers on the deck and chilled. And it was just another amazing sunset on the sea, halfway in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Man, what a place to watch the sun go down. So I've just got off on my night shift and Stringer was making a um, noodle fritter last night. <laughs> I've got nothing, I've got a wee, I've got a wee feed. So Abby, oops, and a little knife and fork, drink and some fritter. This is our wind for the rest of the trip, so we've got 700 nautical miles to go, and it is just hardly any wind. We get a bit of wind at the end, but we hardly get any wind over 15 knots, so it's going to be motor sailing a lot of the way. We've already had to do about five sail changes this morning, Aero. Well, I've seven. Oh, it's driving us nuts. We've got hardly any wind, so we're having to motor sail. Main's been up and down twice this morning yeah. with rain squalls. You can sort of see all these, you know. The wind's just swinging round and round and round, and yeah. it's just so annoying. So we've got the spinny back up with the one engine on and it is day nine we've got a rainstorm coming and the spinny's still up so hopefully the wind doesn't get too strong stormy oh it's giving us a boost along though i'm a bit worried right. gotta keep an eye on it because the wind's 
we're all coming on this side, so we're going to turn the boat so the spinnaker stays up. And um, yeah, hopefully, we won't blow it out. I got no time to waste, I got no time at all. The time I got is yours, and the time left over, I store. Five o'clock if you know When you come home from your day And we'll spend the night away Spinny has to come down. Fuck off. Oh. Yeah, right. Yep. Might just start with the pilot here. So it's day 11, and we're cruising along nicely. 7.7, .7, 12 knots of wind. Spinnaker up, power out a wee bit. Not far to Barbados now. Woohoohoo! Somewhere over there. Yep, so Spinny's gone. Really sad. Not good. A gust of 16 knots came through and it's all blown out. How are you feeling about the whole situation? Pretty upset. So, the last hour me and Abby have been just sitting up on the helm. The wind picked up to probably like 14 knots on the spinnaker and then um, we were just sitting there watching it saying okay we need to bring it in, we need to bring it in but we were waiting for the wind to, to drop off and it never did all of a sudden the swell kind of swung the boat around put more pressure on it and then it just went ripped through the middle not from the side all from Thanks. the side yeah so now we know not to push our limit yeah you're always going to push your limits until something Yeah, but now yeah, we're always going to do it until something goes wrong and it has, so for next time, we won't. And um, it's only a sale, it happens all the time, we'll get it fixed, all good. Rowan's having a beer. Yeah. Well, Amy's having a rum. Jacob's having a rum. It does make you um, feel pretty upset when you see it that way, but... It's all good. We're only three days out, but made off, so. It's been good, eh? Yeah. It's been good while it lasted. Yeah. <laughs> while it while lasted. It lasted. <laughs> while it lasted. Four days to go. Well, give me to land already, man. <laughs> we are so excited. The rums are calling our names, eh? Yeah. yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to a rum. It seems like it's constant four days left. We've just got absolutely no wind. It's, getting it's, a, like, bit, it's getting a bit boring, eh? Like, not boring, but it's nice, but boring, the season's so flat. Boring with no wind. Yeah, the seas are flat. We want a bit of excitement. Some action, we need some wind as well. Yeah, yeah. So. Push us along. And now that we don't have our downwind sail, we have to motor. <laughs> yeah. Genoa doesn't really pull us along enough to turn the engines off with no wind like the spinnaker does. So. All of 15 ton. Yeah, pulling 15 ton along the water. It's a heavy boat this. Yeah. So we've got one engine on low, the Genoa out and just cruising at five knots. So, four days to go of this. It's meant to be like this the whole way. So yeah. Pretty calm. This is what Ron thinks of me. I think it'll be a revenge on Abby's part soon. 
bloody another picture for the cupboard. <laughs> We've got exactly three days to go, or maybe just under, eh? Just under. Depending how it goes today. Oh so, yeah. So it's the 19th in the morning, and we will hopefully be there on the 22nd, first thing in the morning. If not, we'll be arriving the 21st during the night, eh? Yeah. Yeah. In the night, I'd say. Yeah. Well, we're just cruising. We don't want to rush it there. No. We were, but now what? Like, yeah, we're, so we're sort of just cruising now and slowing down because um, we don't really want to arrive in the night. We want to arrive first thing in the morning, so that's cool. Yeah, sail the on. Yeah. But this is what we're doing today in our sail plan. We're just cruising along around between 5 and 6 knots. Got between 10 and 11 to 12 knots of wind. And yeah, it's going good. So we've got our Genoa out on the opposite side to our main because we're downwind and we secure it by pulling this black rope here back to the cleat. Do you know that? Into um, the winch because we don't have a whisker pole to hold it out. Dark one coming, Rose. Rose looking at it, keeping it on sail. Getting ready. <laughs> oh, stormy! The wind, the wind just slammed from starboard 10 knots to port 90 degrees 21 knots. <laughs> oh my god, so fast as well, eh? 220 nautical miles from Barbados and, and we're gonna go for a swim it's 5,000 meters deep yeah 5,000 meters deep and it's um yeah not much wind so we're just gonna we've just got the Genoa half out and we're gonna go for a wee dip just gonna hold on to this rope pretty much a lure for a shark Not clean. Yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> okay. Pretty cool, man. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Just take that right now. <laughs> How was it? Oh my god, it's warm. Was it nice? Oh, Not even cold. <laughs> Good day. It's a bit warm. Yeah. yeah. Was it cold? Is that alright? Oh, it was so cold! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cold. <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> Can you see the bottom? <laughs> Can you see the bottom? Go. Oh my god! Yay! Two. Two. One. Go. Go. Like <laughs> yeah, go. Go on, Let's go out and <laughs> So we still haven't caught any fish on this whole trip. So Rowan's making another lure. Hold that, right? Another one, yeah. You know it was a good one. Zip tie. Oh, yeah. That's a good lower. Let's see the bottom of it. Got two on at once. Double. Double. <laughs> yeah. Double banger. We haven't got long to go now. 
88 nautical miles until Barbados. So it looks like we're going, we're trying to slow down because we're going too fast and we want to arrive morning tomorrow. So it looks like we're going to be arriving about 6am tomorrow morning. So that'd be good. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. excited. And we just got an email from our friends. Gavin and Lisa, who are already there, to say that there's turtles swimming all around the boats and baby turtles hatching on the beach. I'm oh, so excited! Oh yeah, can't wait. I'm so excited. I'll see if we can see land. Oh, still no land. So we're just cruising along, just with the Genoa out for today, and into the sunset tonight, cruising it. Between four and five knots. So, we don't want to go any faster. Rowan's working out the time we're going to be there. Well, <laughs> we'll be there in the morning. Perfect. First one, the spot land. We're all waiting here. Morning. Well, it's actually it's not morning yet. It is 11:30, and I'm on my last night shift. Look how close we are. So close. I'm so excited. We're just cruising at five knots with the Genoa out, and I can just see land. Just. It's just a little glow on the horizon. You won't be able to see it on the camera, but we're nearly there. So excited. So I'm on my second night shift now. Oh. A bit rocky. I've just turned the engine on so it gets us up to around 5.7 to 6 knots. Um, we want to be anchoring there at their time 6 a.m. Ricky time! Join us next week if we make it to Barbados. What an amazing place to celebrate with bears, clear customs, swim with some amazing turtles, and then go and hang out with an amazing bunch of people we've met at the famous Mount Gay Rum Factory. Woo. Cheers guys!